The Hungarian Prime Minister has claimed there is no way that Ukraine will win the war against Russia. In an exclusive interview with Tucker Carlson, Viktor Orban said that there is only one person that can save the Western world, and that person is Donald Trump. Joining me now is former advisor to Donald Trump, Sebastian Gorka. Seb, it's always fantastic to have you on the show. Is Donald Trump the saviour of the West? Well, if you just look at the four years that he was in the White House, you know, facts speak for themselves. We had a border that actually functioned. Uh, we had the strongest economy the world had ever seen just by any measure. Uh, and guess what? No new wars. One of the platforms of President Trump uh, as a candidate was secure the border, uh, make America great again. And one of the key things is he said is no more stupid wars. And it's really weird that you know, the first time Putin invaded Georgia, Bush was in power. The first time that he invaded Ukraine, Obama was in power. And then we're here for four years in the White House and uh, Putin doesn't do anything. Little Kim is put back in his box in North Korea. We declare a trade war with China for their exploitative policies. And guess what? President Trump leaves office and Putin invades Ukraine again. So I think the facts speak for themselves that if you want the world to be a safer place, you need an alpha male like my former boss back in the Oval Office. Yeah, I mean, is there something to be said for the fact that actually alpha males should be in positions of power, do you think? Well, look, I stole a phrase, a motto from the US Marine Corps when we were in the White House to describe the, you know, the arrival of Team MAGA, Team America First, in the West Wing, and I said, no better friend, no worse enemy. And, and it's not just you know, Orban in, in Hungary. We've got the leader of the opposition, the guy who's likely to unseat the Argentine president. We've got Javier Mille saying the greatest threat to the West right now is Joe Biden. OK, mm. so it, it's very clear. You know, it's clear when you've got a doddering, senile old kid who doesn't know where he is half the time in control of the nuclear football uh, our allies are afraid, and uh, the bad guys like Putin, like Xi Jinping, they decide it's time to take action. Yeah, but you also just have to look at what it means for Britain as well, right? Because you yeah. know, we, we uh, now are being pushed around by the bloke that you described there as being senile, etc. Yeah, he's over there in Ireland saying that this is all the best... Uh, you know, his, his relatives. I mean, you have to go back to the dawn of time to find any of Joe Biden's relatives in Ireland, by the way. They've, some of them are just fossilised in the rock there near Giant's Causeway. But alas, there he is. And, you know, Trump is there saying he's our friend. And, you know, we were not paying for a war in Ukraine when President Trump was in power. Yeah, look, it, 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 don't, it's not just Joe. Remember Joe's old boss, Obama, who came to the UK to lecture the Brits on, ooh, if you dare to leave the EU, you'll be at the back of the queue. Sorry, mm. what, the, what the hell have you got to do with Brits deciding mm. to be independent again in the biggest vote in their history? So yes, I mean, whether it's Biden, whether it's Obama, th th these are the people who think they know what's good for everyone in the meantime, everything is falling apart. You think you've got a problem, and God bless Nigel Farage every day for banging the gong, but you think you've got a problem with a few boats every other day. Mm. Under Biden, in this country, mm. we've got 6,000 illegal mm. immigrants crossing the border every 24 hours. In the last 12 months, we had 110,000 people die of fentanyl and drug overdoses that are coming across the border. So this is what happens when people who hate the West are in control of the West. Yeah, I I'm inclined to agree with you. Seriously, I, I look around now and I wonder, you know, and I also look around in this country and we've done a discussion there about national service. And I, I can't help but think that patriotism has appeared to become a really dirty word. And anyone who backs Britain and loves Britain is seen as is criticised, is overtly criticised for it, which is bonkers because we all freely choose to live here. You know, if we're such a horrible little country, why does every single person from all around the world want to come and live here? What would Donald Trump do to stop the channel migrant crisis, do you reckon? Well, he'd make sure that people were arrested and turned around. I have a buddy of mine, he's a former Commissioner of Customs and Border Patrol, Mark Morgan. He, he, he you know, ran the border for the president. And I asked him on my daily radio show, I said, Mark, uh, we've got like six million people who've come into America illegally that we know of in the last two years under Biden. 
can we even deport that number? And he said to me, Seb, yeah, we can deport them. And I said, how? And Mark said, one by one. You build the wall, you send out the border forces, kick everybody back, mm -hmm. real asylum seekers like my dad. My dad was a refugee to the UK. Why? Because he escaped a communist political prison. If you just want hey, a better God. life, you're not an asylum seeker. You're an economic migrant. And guess what? People need to get in line, prove that they can actually contribute to the UK and then be allowed mm -hmm. in. Seb, look, thank you very much. It's always an absolute pleasure to have you on. Take care and to see you looking so well as well. Fantastic. Seb Gorky there, former advisor to Donald Trump.